Welcome back to the uh, tutorial for strength and material. And uh, tonight I'm gonna um, uh, give you a problem on the shear and uh, moment diagram. Let's say I have um, a system, something like this. It is a beam. And um, it has an overhang with a distance of uh, 2 meters here. <clears throat> and I have a uniformly dissipated load and I call this point as A and this is B, C and B and um, I have 20 kilo newton here and the uh, distributed load is at 10 kilo newton per meter so this is the system that we have now uh, the first order of the day is let's let's draw the uh, the free body diagram of this um, system here so I have AX and I also have AY I have CY and I also have 20 km here and this um, I can uh, represent this as uh, a single point force acting at the center of the uh, uh, uniform load and this is 10 times 4 uh, this is 40 kilonewton so this is the system that um, we have and uh, I want to just go ahead and do the uh, summation of uh, forces in the X and Y direction and also the moment uh, basically doing the equation of equilibrium to find out what is the um, uh, the overall uh, forces acting on this particular uh, beam so the uh, summation of force in the x direction and that's going to be zero i have only ax means that my ax is also going to be zero if i do a summation of forces in the y direction equilibrium and that's going to be zero so i have in the y direction i have ay plus cy minus 20 kilonewton and this is going to be equals to zero. Oh, um, I have another one here. Uh, I have the 40 kilonewton and that's going to be equals to zero. So I have uh, simplified this as AY plus CY is equals to 60 kilonewton. And this is one equation that I need to solve. Since I have uh, one equation and two unknowns, so I need to find another one. So let's go ahead and do um, the uh, summation of moment. Um, I'm just going to pick point A here. It's my point where I'm going to do summation of moment because I can uh, can eliminate uh, two forces at once. So let's do summation of uh, moment. At point A, and I say positive this way, and in equilibrium it's going to be zero. So I have um, my um, CY, C 
cy here is going to be times 8 meters I also have my 20 kilo Newton and this is uh, 10 meters and I also have my 40 which is halfway distance uh, from uh, point A to point B and that's going to be uh, 2 meters and this is going to be equal to 0 and if I uh, solve this I have 8 CY uh, minus uh, 200 minus 80 it's going to be equal to 0 and my CY is going to be um, 280 divided by 8 that's going to be 35 uh, kilonewton and if I solve um, equation 1 which says that my AY plus CY equals to 60 and replacing my CY and I will have my AY is equals to uh, 60 minus 35 and that's going to be 25 kilonewton so now um, I have AY and also I have CY so let's go ahead and um, replace that that's going to be uh, AY is going to be 25 and this is going to be uh, oops it's going to be 35 okay now um, let's go ahead and uh, uh, redraw the uh, diagram again now now let's let's, let's draw the uh, shear in moment so I have um, my system here a uh, B is somewhere here and this is C and this is D and I know this is um, my AY is 25 and my CY is um, 35 and I have 20 and I also have uh, my distributed load which is uh, 40 coming down this way well, let's go ahead and draw the uh, shear diagram for this You know, that is V and um, I have uh, going up at A I have 25 and um, and it is going down um, uh, 40 so I have 40 minus um, uh, 25 so I will have uh, at B I will have uh, 15 here so that is um, 25 minus uh, 40 and it's done with 15 distributed load is this way so I meet down with 15 there from that 15 um, from that 15 um, from B to uh, C there's nothing going on at uh, B to C so I just maintain that uh, 15 and now I have uh, uh, 35 going up so that's 15 uh, plus 35 and I will be up to about uh, 20 and then going down again to a 0 so I have um, this is 20 and it is minus 15 so this that's how my um, shear diagram is going to look like and uh, let's go ahead and do the uh, moment diagram now 
Now, um, there are a few things that we need to do before we can roll the uh, moment diagram, which is to find what is the uh, uh, moment at a few points. So I have uh, this point A, and I also need to find out what is the moment at point B, and uh, point C, and also D. And uh, I also need to find out what is my maximum moment, positive moment, which occurs at zero shear. And this is going to be my uh, maximum moment here. Okay. Um, so these are the areas that I need to calculate. So let's go ahead and calculate what is the moment at point A. And we know that moment at point A uh, is going to be uh, zero. Moment at point B, uh, I will have my uh, AY. I have my AY uh, times uh, this distance 4 here. And I also have my uh, 40. That's times uh, 2 meters. Uh, and I know my AY is um, 25, so it's 25 times 4 minus 80, so I have my moment at B as 20 kilonewton meter, and uh, that's a positive there. And I can also calculate what is my moment at C, oh by the way, uh, moment at D is also 0, my moment at C um, it's basically uh, I also have my AY times my moment arm from A to C that's going to be uh, 8 then I also have my 40 here my 40 is going to be uh, 2 plus uh, 4 and it's going to be 6 meters and this AY, um, my AY is 25, so 25 times 8 minus 240, and I have minus 40 kilonewton per, uh, meters, and this is my moment at C. So now I have uh, two moments, B uh, and also C, and also have a moment at A and also a moment at B. Now, uh, let's go ahead and draw the uh, shear and moment equation, uh, sorry, the uh, moment diagram. Um, let's pick red. Okay, now I'm going to start with MA uh, at zero here. And I will move, uh, because this is uh, a triangle, so it's, it's going to be uh, okay, now uh, let's indicate first. I have my moment at B, uh, that is going to be uh, 20, and this is 20 here. And I also know by moment at C, which is uh, minus 40, so let's say it is here, and this is minus 40. Now, these are the uh, and I also have, know my moment at D is going to be zero. Since uh, this is square and it's going to, it's going to be dragged like that, and uh, this is also a square, so it's going to be something like this. And the triangle will give uh, a parabolic or something like this. So now um, I need to find out what is this point here, which is my um, maximum moment. Okay, so now this maximum moment occurs where my shear is zero, and I'm going to say that uh, this distance here is hypothetically x, and uh, this distance here, since this everything else is 4, and I have here is x, and this is 4 minus x. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and do that in a while. Um, so now in order for me to find out what is um, 
my um, X, I can do um, um, the cross um, the cross multiply of uh, the two triangles. Let me redraw that triangle for you. I'm talking about this triangle here and also this triangle here. So I have um, I have 25 here, I have x, I have 4 minus x here, and also I have 15. So I can do a cross multiply, I can say that my 25 over x, okay, is equivalent to 15 over 4 minus x. And when I solve for x, by doing a cross multiply, I will have 25 times 4 minus x is equivalent to 15x and I have 100 minus 25x equals to 15x put x on one side uh, and I will have my x equals to 2.5 meters so now the distance here x is going to be uh, 2.5 and now I know that you know it is 2.5 here I can go ahead and find out what is my maximum moment, positive moment at that particular point? So, um, so the calculation goes. Um, okay, now change to. So I have my maximum moment positive. It's gonna be um, because I'm, I'm I'm taking the moment here. So I have uh, my 25, my 25, um, which is my AY, I have my AY times uh, 2.5, which is my new moment arm at the uh, maximum. And I also have, coming from my uh, distributed load, but now it's only at 2.5 so I have 10 times 2.5 that will give me my uh, equivalent force and my moment arm is going to be another 2.5 divided by 2 at point uh, where the maximum moment is and this is uh, okay, my AY is 25 times 2.5 minus uh, 25 times 2.5 over 2 and my maximum moment if I use my number cruncher is going to be uh, 31.25 kilonewton meter so this is the maximum positive moment I will have at this uh, so this is going to be uh, 31.25 Newton per uh, kilonewton meter. So this here is 31.25. Now, what is my uh, negative moment? My negative moment for this system is going to be at MC, which is uh, at negative 40. So my maximum uh, negative moment is going to be 40 kilonewton meter, and this is at point C. And the maximum uh, positive moment occurs at oops at uh, x equals to 2.5 meters. Okay, so um, that is the uh, tutorial for shear and moment diagram. I will post this uh, on the. Um, uh, ECT and also have the uh, corresponding PDF so you can look through um, the whole sequence that I uh, did for this particular um, question. So uh, till then we meet again uh, tomorrow. Um, there will be a quiz uh, followed by uh, Amazing Race uh, that's going to be at 8 o'clock. Uh, come over, join us for breakfast. We have Nasi Lama and uh, Teh Tari. Then uh, follow up by uh, a short quiz before we proceed for the uh, amazing race. 
So uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.